Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And it's first time around for these two countries in the group stage here at the 2023 World Cup. It's Morocco facing Colombia. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And here's how Morocco will line up. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their put will be key today. Here's how Colombia will begin the game. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And so the battle commences. the moment splendid defending just a matter of thumping it away Caicedo Ramirez Good pass and They need to get tighter here Options in the centre Terrific piece of anticipation for a pass under no real pressure. Nesrin El Shad. Fatima Tanyau. Gislan Shebak. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. A sloppy pass. Bedoya. Ramirez. Now Bedoya. Lacey Santos. Now potential danger. an astute piece of defending timely intervention Fatima Tanyau still passing it around with authority the cross is on 
Real chance. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Vanegas. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can they forge ahead? Oh, goodness me, off the post. Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. Yes, a really up and flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. Takes aim. And the keeper more than equal to it. Delivering it. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Shebak. Intercepting it intelligently. Ramirez. Well, as you can see from the stats, there's been little between the two teams. It's been really tight, really cagey. Let's just hope it opens up and one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. It's a good-looking ball in behind, and the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. showing fine vision this looks promising now will they be able to play it in behind the defence well I think a classic commentator's curse just then couldn't make the ideal pass Lacey Santos Ramirez She's made a really good intervention there. Yasmin Mrabet. Ayan. Amani. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Good physical play. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Now Bedoya. Montoya. Caicedo. Mayra Ramirez. Now can they counter clinically? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. 
Might be able to set up the chance. Can she connect with a teammate? A good and fair challenge. 15 minutes left for play. Rosera Ayan. Iman Saud. Now a decent position. Real chance. Well, it might still work out for them. And the search on for a winner. Time is tight. Did well to win the ball back. Gislan Shebak. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. She's made a really important challenge. And that pass could be troublesome. Real chance. And thumped away. Could be threatening. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. And this situation could be dangerous. Still looking to get the shot off. And with that, the referee brings this match to an end. Both sides have their moments over the course of the 90 minutes, but it finishes in a stalemate. Stuart, what did you make of it all? Well, yes, Derek, probably not the best game. I don't think either team played to their full potential. The final ball was often lacking, and the chances they did create, they were unable to take advantage of. A bit disappointing, really, as I was expecting more.